Hi, this is Tom McMillan with the Lead One Bite of the Week. There are several important legal cases involving the NCAA that could change the landscape of college sports. Last week, we discussed the Plus versus NCAA case, which is the first concussion-related CTE case to go to trial, which will begin next week in Texas. Today, we're going to talk about the Alston Jenkins Consolidated case, which focuses on athletic scholarship limits. Now, the first part of this case had to do with monetary damages, giving former student athletes the full cost of their scholarship. And this is scheduled to go to trial on September 4th. The first part of the case involving monetary damages settled for $208 million approximately and awarded 40,000 former student athletes the differential between their actual scholarship and the full cost of attendance. This goes back to 2015 when the NCAA expanded the allowable scholarship. Now the upcoming part of this case will focus on injunctive relief, changing the rules of college sports. The plaintiffs want to eliminate NCAA rules that cap athletic scholarships. And of course the NCAA will vigorously defend the amateurism model which distinguishes between college and professional sports. Now Judge Wilkin will be presiding over this case and she has shown an inclination to move the bar with respect to college sports. For example, in the O'Bannon case, which she provided o over, having to do with the commercial rights of student athletes to use their name, image, and likeness, she ruled that the NCAA's rules were too restrictive, they violated antitrust law, and she even went so far as to award 5,000 deferred payments to these student athletes. So we have a long way to go with this case, but if the plaintiffs prevail, schools could have the opportunity to offer benefits beyond the full cost of attendance. The Pletz and Alston Jenkins case and other cases could bring big changes to college sports. Stay tuned. That is our Bite of the Week.